We are here for you. We are the creators. We are a twelfth dimensional collective of non-physical beings, and we are here to help. We know you have your differences with one another, and we witness you in how you experience those differences. We want you to know that someone disagreeing with you on any topic doesn't have to affect you emotionally. You don't have to get upset because someone else disagrees with you. Instead, you can recognize that maybe it is true that there is something else here at work. It is a possibility that the reason you don't see eye to eye with someone else is because the two of you working together could find a third option, a solution that was better than the one that either of you had fixated on and had assumed was the best solution. So you don't need to fight. You don't need to determine who was right, and you certainly don't need to go back and look at who has been more right in the past. You can let go of the past and understand that the present is the moment that you have all of your power in. So when someone disagrees with you, instead of arguing with them, insisting that you are right and they are wrong, get curious about why you have attracted that person into your experience who does not agree with you. Perhaps you are meant to let go of your resistance of their point of view. Perhaps you are supposed to be letting go of your fear of the world that they think is the better world for everyone. Perhaps you are meant to work through your differences with other people because of your history with those people. In other words, you are growing exponentially because of all of the challenges that you face there on earth and disagreements with other people are some of those challenges that you are facing right now. You don't have to worry about someone else being more right than you are. You can agree to disagree. You can focus on the best possible world for all people, and you can recognize that you may not know the path to that world. You can let go of your attachment to an outcome. You can go with the flow and tell Source that what you are hoping for is the best possible outcome for everyone. Now, again, you will be facing that which you have been fearing, judging, and resisting and sometimes those things will come to you in the form of someone else saying, thinking, or doing something that challenges you, that triggers you, and that hopefully gets you to examine your own resistance to them, to their beliefs, to their way of being in the world. If you can do that, you can heal so much within yourselves, you can grow spiritually, and you can live and let live. You can recognize that source energy thought that person being exactly as they are in that moment was a pretty good idea good enough to create. But everything and everyone must exist as they are for a reason, and the reason is always that there is something better that you are moving towards at all times, and when you can pull back far enough to recognize there is a bigger picture you can benefit from everything that is just as it is right now. Yes, there are all kinds of issues on your planet, all kinds of things that you would like to change about life on earth right now, but it is all there for you to grow out of, to grow from not simply to push against and do everything in your power to change. You change you, and you see everything outside of you changing magically as a result. And one of the things you can do right now to help better your world is to stop fighting with people who are in your life or who are disagreeing with you on some key issue or politics. You have the ability to rise above that mentality of us versus them and to be one who unites and that's what we want to encourage you to do because we know how much potential there is within humankind right now to rise above the turmoil, the chaos, and the fighting that is going on in so many sectors of society. You are the ones to put an end to the divisiveness, to humanity being polarized, and that's why you are there right now witnessing it all. We are the creators, and we love you very much.